Hello students, in this video we'll discuss how to find roots of complex numbers and see how that can help us solve constant coefficient ordinary differential equations. To find the roots of a complex number, write the number in polar form as many times as the number of roots you wish to find. By adding 2 pi to the argument. Euler's formula tells us that adding 2 pi to the argument will not change the value of the complex number. Let's look at an example of this. Let's solve the equation z to the fourth plus 16 equals 0. This is equivalent to saying that z to the fourth is negative 16. And by Euler's formula, we can write negative 16 as 16 e to the i pi, since the argument of negative 16 is pi. It's 180 degrees away from the real axis. According to my scheme, I will continue to add 2 pi to the argument until I have enough representations of the complex number as the number of roots I wish to find. So I'll write 16 e to the i pi as 16 e to the 3 pi i as 16 e to the 5 pi i and 16e to the 7 pi i. And we notice that each time I have added 2 pi to the argument. There's a 2 pi jump over here, a 2 pi jump over here, and a 2 pi jump over here. And I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4 representations of my number because I have z to the power of 4. Next, I'll take the fourth root of both sides of the equation. So I will have that z is 16 e to the i pi to the 1 fourth, 16 e to the 3 pi i to the 1 fourth, 16 e to the 5 pi i to the 1 fourth, and 16 e to the 7 pi i to the 1 fourth. Simplifying this, we see that the fourth root of 16 is 2. So I will have 2 e to the i pi over 4, 2 e to the 3 pi i over 4, 2 e to the 5 pi i over 4, and 2 e to the 7 pi i over 4. We can now notice by plotting these numbers on the complex plane that this number and this number are complex conjugates of each other. And this number and this number are also complex conjugates of each other. We can write 2 e to the i pi over 4 as 2 1 over root 2 plus i 1 over root 2. or as root 2 plus i root 2, and similarly e to the 7 pi i over 4 times 2 will be root 2 minus i root 2. E 2 e to the 3 pi i over 4 will be negative root 2 plus i root 2, and 2 e to the 5 pi i over 4 will be negative root 2 minus i root 2. The first two factors give me the, pair, the complex conjugate pair root 2 plus or minus i root 2, and the second pair of roots give me root 2 negative root 2 plus or minus i 
root 2. I will therefore have the corresponding quadratic factors in the following differential equation. If we look to solve y quadruple prime plus 16y equals 0, we see that this is equivalent to d to the fourth plus 16 applied to y is 0. Using these roots, we see that we have the factorizations d minus the square root of 2 squared plus 2 and d plus the square root of 2 squared plus 2 applied to y is 0. This comes from the fact that if if a plus ib and a minus ib are roots, that implies that we have a quadratic factor of d minus a squared plus b squared, and our polynomial differential operator is a factor. Now I can write down the general solution of this ordinary differential equation. I see that y will be equal to c1 e to the root 2x cosine of root 2x plus c2 e to the root 2x sine of root 2x and the corresponding negative exponents plus c3 e to the negative root 2x cosine of root 2x plus c4 e to the negative root 2x sine of root 2x. So we see that by finding roots of complex numbers, I'm able to find quadratic factors of differential equations, and I can use that to find the general solution to higher order constant coefficient differential equations. Thank you very much.